Living in the greater Toronto area, there's just so many outdoor activities to do. I'm not a huge fan of winter activities, you know, the cold isn't that great. Snowboarding's fun and all, but it's costly. However, when summer rolls around now, that's where it is at for me. I personally love going outside of the city, you know, to provincial parks, camping, to lakes and water stuff. And with that being said, I decided I need some more outdoor gear. And for me, I get a f piece of footwear for every single purpose. For, you know, security work, tactical or looking. For running on trails, for running on the road. There's just so many different things that a certain shoe can be utilized for. And today I'm here to show you a shoe that I will use for portaging in the provincial parks, Algonquin Park, here in Ontario, Canada. And those are going to be a nice pair of Under Armour shoes. So there's two because there's the same shoe but two models. And let's get into it. So the first one I'm going to show you here. Let's have a look at the front of the box. Let's turn some lights on so you know we can get a little bit of a better look. All right, there we go. Forgot to turn those on. So here you can say it says the UA Micro G Kalichi, or is that how it's pronounced? Kilchis, maybe. Kilchis, not Kalichi. You know, anyone comment below if you know the proper pronunciation. You can see it says Under Armour branding there. And notice the size 10. Okay, here's the shoe. Small picture at the front. You can't really see that. Under Armour branding on the box. You know, just your average Under Armour box. There you go. All that details. And if you're looking for this model, you can type in the name or you can type in, you know, Under Armour. They have a product number there. Footwear, when you type in product numbers, whether it be a Nike or whatever, you type that into Google, it's going to show you that product and maybe where you can buy it. For this stuff, I got it at underarmour.ca. You know, a lot of the really good stuff is not at the Under Armour factory stores or you have to go hunting and you could get it on sale there at a good price. But if anything, if you really want something, you got to go straight for it. So underarmour.ca. Anyways, let's pop into it, all right? I'm gonna pop this open. See, this is how it looks inside. Like that, maybe I'll move it over here. Quick look. Okay, and first I'm gonna take out the left foot. So, right upon the reveal of the left foot, this is what we have. Now this version has laces up here. <laughs> I still have the insert inside. I did try these on though, so no mistake. And you can see the bottom holes here. This is so when the shoe is submerged in water, the liner is very light. The water will not stay in the shoe, it will go out. Also the material on top, the meshing, very soft, very light and very easy to dry. You can see through the center of the shoe pretty much the way I have the lighting. Now the heel tab, you have a little string. So if you have issue getting a foot on, cause it is a sock liner shoe, then you will have to use this. Now sizing wide, a lot of people, you know, they say it's true to size, even on the website. However, in the comments, I noticed one or two people said they had to go up a size. And that is very odd to me, because this is a shoe that you shouldn't be wearing with socks. This is a barefoot shoe. So for me, I and Under Armour and almost all my sneakers am a true to size 10 and a half. But since I'm not wearing socks and I wanted to fit, this fits me in a size 10. So uh, I'll show you the other one in a second, the one that I decided I'm going to keep over this one. But uh, yeah, let's put this one down. We're going to show you on the on feet in a second, but put this one away and get the second one. Now I remember I said it is the same model, just a slight difference. So here we go, the front of the box. You can see this one again, size 10. UA, sorry, Micro G Kilchis Slip. So obviously if you read that you should know right now before I even bring it out, slip, it is a slip on. This pair did not have the laces. Now I was a bit iffy first, I thought I would keep the pair of laces because it would keep my foot locked down better. However, once I put these on foot, this is the pair I decided to keep. It was most comfortable. Um, retail Canadian, sorry guys, I cannot remember exactly right now, between $90 Canadian to $120 Canadian. Um, comment below what the price is and .com. I'm talking about .ca, Canadian, or maybe somewhere else in the world. You know, I have a bunch of people that watch my videos from UK and from Europe, and they, they've been asking me where to get some of the products. So, anyways, let's jump into it. So once again, I'm gonna show you the box, nice and simple. We got it open here. This time, I'm also gonna take out, let's take out the left one, you know? It's like working, I used to work at a Foot Locker back in the day, and on the walls, you always had left foot displayed. So here we go. 
nice and pretty much the exact same shape. It's got that micro G hit on the back, nice and cushy. Oh, for one second, let's compare the bottoms. Okay, exact same. Back to this one, you can see a little bit of a pull tab on here and on the back. So we have two ways to slide your foot in, this way and this way, because once again, sock liner, same, almost everything, except I believe the toe box stitching is a little bit different, because normally you would have had laces here. So let's just compare side to side. Okay, slightly different. You can see the siding on the toe box here, almost the exact same, but it felt slightly different on my foot, especially since the lace, all the lace stitching comes around here on this side. I don't know. This one does have a hit of Under Armour, and this one doesn't, but I mean, I'm using this for portaging or fishing or going to the lake. So the whole point is not to show off the Under Armour, it's about performance. And heck yeah, these will. So one last time, let's do a 360 of this shoe. More than a three, always. 360 of this shoe. And once again, in these shoes, I ordered, because I was not sure, and when you order online, I'm a little, I don't know, not nice about it. I would say, when it's an online shoe and there's a return policy, I order three sizes. So I ordered the 10 and a half, the 10 and the 9 and a half. Just because boots, sometimes I have to go down to that 9 and a half, and then 10 and a half, no sock, you, know, you never know. Basketball shoes, sometimes I go up to 11, so anyways. I ordered this many, and then I returned a bunch, but I stuck with the 10. So true to size 10 and a half, but I go with 10. So if you are doing these shoes, I suggest go a half size down. So let me just pop them up like this. You got a nice little screenshot. And there we go. So hope you guys got enough looks of this and my little explanation on what you should do and what it's for. Let me go throw it on feet so you can see how these shoes look. Let's go. First look at the Kilchis. These are the ones with the ties. You can see the tie on the front there. I don't know. The feeling right in here is a little loose. Like, I don't really feel like the ties do much as a sock shoe. Which is odd, because I thought these would be the ones I would prefer. Here's the pair I am very pleased with. No ties, just nice slip-on. You know what, it just makes me feel like it's a summer shoe. Summer shoes are slip-ons. You know you got your sandals, I hate to say it, but some people wear Crocs. You know, water shoes, These, this is what this is. This is like an aqua sock, a water shoe. I don't need those ties. It slips on and it still feels more secure. I still got a little bit of space, but I did try all the sizes smaller, so this is the best fit for me. Alright, so that's it for the review of the fishing shoes. Um, that's what I plan on using it for, fishing in a camping trip. One more time, the name of it is the UA Micro G Kilchis. K-L-C-H-I-S. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, that's it. I hope you like the aesthetic of it. Um, tell me if you have a pair, um, if you think they're garbage, if you have a pair you think they're great, if you plan on getting a pair, or what you would use this footwear for. Anyways, guys, till next time. Take it easy.